Good afternoon, Pastor Tyrone P. Jones, Church for the City, Yuma, Arizona. Uh, this seems so odd to say to those of us in Yuma, Arizona, since we've already experienced a 111 degree temperature. But for the rest of you, a summer began yesterday. Uh, more precisely, uh, this is actually uh, the, the astronomical summer began in the Northern Hemisphere at 5.14 a.m. yesterday. That, that marks 2022 summer solstice. People call it the longest day of the, of the year. Uh, and that, that could be incorrect, of course, technically, because there's 24 hours in a day, but there actually is more daylight. This is also a good time for us to see the solar system on display. We can view Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn actually with the naked eye. Neptune and Uranus are up there, but you need a binocular to see those. Venus is, is so close in proximity to the moon that when you observe, you can't believe that that little small dot uh, is Venus, and it's actually larger than the moon. Venus is more than three times larger in diameter than our moon. A little, a little more perspective. Our sun is only one of about 100,000 million stars in our Milky Way galaxy. And the Milky Way is only one of an estimated two trillion galaxies in our observable universe. And the God who made you and me made all of that and measures it in the palm of his hand. I make this point to emphasize it is always too soon to give up on God. No matter how much we distrust our government or grieve for the direction of our culture, the king of the universe is still on the throne overseeing all of that. Post-Christian seculars can reject his word and deny his existence, but he loves them unconditionally. He will similarly uh, empower you and me to love others, whether they love us or not. In How to Bless God by Blessing Others, Ryan Dennison, he, he wrote this in, in one of his books, uh, and he, he noted this, that the Greco-Roman religion, they pictured God as, as like a transactional thing. He, he blesses humans as we bless him. It's a transactional relationship. But the truth of it is for us, God blessed Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden while knowing that humans would fail to reciprocate his love. Uh, Ryan goes on to write, if he wanted creatures devoid of free will who would simply do his bidding, that's what he would have created. Instead, he wanted human beings who could choose to love him in the same way that he chose to love us. And through that free will, we partner with him in caring for the rest of his creation. King David knew personally this truth when he said this, blessed is the nation whose God is their Lord, Psalm 33, 12. Blessing our nation by speaking biblical truth with biblical hope is a gift our nation has always needed, but never more than today. Frederick Douglass, the African-American abolitionist who had so much influence over President Lincoln when the nation was divided, he, he was profound when he said, the life of the nation is secure only while the nation is honest, truthful, and virtuous. I think it behooves us as a people who live in a great nation among a great universe, created and upheld by a great God, to rightly pray and declare that God bless America as we pray for and care for others with the same love we have received from him. Here's what I know. 2 Timothy 2.13 says, if we are unfaithful, he remains faithful for he cannot deny who he is. God bless you.